Hey there, digital artists. Are you looking to step up your game in Photoshop? Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you have an artistic vision, but you have problems executing it on the screen and getting it to look exactly how it does in your head? Well, I'm Kirk Nelson with Touch Plus, and I'm here to help. Photoshop is an amazing tool that can do all sorts of really good digital pieces of artwork. You just need to know the right techniques to make it happen. Welcome to this course on Advanced Photoshop Techniques. In this course, I'll go over several techniques that are essential for crafting complex, multi-layered digital pieces of artwork. First, we'll spend a whole chapter exploring different advanced tools and techniques. This is so that when we dig further into our project, you will understand how to use these techniques and you can focus on developing the actual project. We'll also discuss the difference in between destructive and non-destructive workflows and how critical that is to the success of your artwork. Then we start on our fantasy scene using these techniques. We'll begin with a sketch and planning out the image and work through the various stages involved in building up to the final project. I'll show you every step along the way and walk you through the decision-making process of why each step is needed and how it helps with the end result. Keep in mind that this is a course for advanced Photoshop techniques. I am expecting that you are familiar with the Photoshop interface and that you know how to use it. I'm using Photoshop CC 2015 for this course. This is the version that was updated in the summer of 2015. We will also use several stock images to build up our digital scene, and I'm providing those within the course files as well as links in the lesson descriptions to where to download each of them from their source. As we work through the project, each lesson is cumulative, so you will build on the file that you finished in the previous lesson. It's key to understand that the source PSD file included for each lesson represents the end state for that lesson. You should begin that lesson with the previous lesson's file. I hope you are as excited about taking this course as I was in creating it. I have no doubt that once you learn the techniques that I'm here to present to you, the quality of your digital artwork will increase substantially. And with that, let's get things started.